Now uh, let's move it over to Malaysia and more signs of a recovery in the global economy means Malaysia may return to growth in the final three months of this year as an export manufacturing pickup. Certainly uh, uh, the slowdown has decelerated. Yeah? Uh, I'm talking about trade and trade in particular uh, by investment of course is, is, is still quite weak. The central bank kept interest rates steady for a fourth straight meeting yesterday. The key rate held flat at 2 percent, as expected by every economist that we polled. Malaysia is out with GDP numbers later on today, and the economy is expected to have contracted at a slower pace last quarter. Meantime, Malaysian stocks, they have been rallying since March. They're up 33 percent so far this year, compared to a 27 percent gain for the MSCI Asia Pacific Index. But one investor says a pause in the market rally may not be as surprising as sentiment remains fragile. The Malaysian stock market fell the least in 2008 and the fact that it has, uh, was more resilient last year probably means that the rebound would be slower than other markets. Tantung Boost Fund has gained 15 percent since its inception two years ago, compared with a 35 percent drop in Asia's regional benchmark over that same period. His picks in Malaysia that include uh, department store operator Parks and Holdings, also plantation company Kelly Kapong, and also investment firm Padini.